Hello, and welcome back to the ACMI show. Uh, it's the show where we talk about the involvement of ACMI staff, members, and volunteers here at ACMI. Uh, with me today is a uh, staff member, Anima Samani, and um, he's the, uh, the field production coordinator, I think. Yeah, um, yeah. Mainly doing sports, stuff like that. Yep. Um, so when did you join ACMI? When did you first get your first interaction with people at ACMI? You know, being involved, my first involvement with ACMI is very different from my first interaction with ACMI. How so, so my first interaction was with James Milan via email because the summer, my, the summer of my junior year of college was when I was looking for summer internships. So I applied to ACMI, I believe that was 2019, the summer of 2019. Mm. And James was like, would you like to come in for an interview? It's going to be an unpaid internship. And as soon as he said unpaid, I was like, I can't do that. <laughs> Sorry, I'd like to withdraw my application. Then fall semester came, and now I'm looking for internships for the spring semester. I applied again. And then James replied back, hey, I remember you. I remember your resume and cover letter. Cover for an interview this time. And I was like, all right, yes, I'll be there for real this time. Mm. Came in. Got interviewed in November. I asked if I could start January 3rd. I started January 3rd as an intern, as a news intern. And uh, this was the spring of 2020. Then COVID came, ended my internship March. I, I accomplished a lot of things as a news intern. I accomplished so much that uh, last, it left a lasting impression on ACMI, particularly my news director, Jeff Bard, and the communications manager, James Milan, and uh, the operations manager, J Jeff Monroe, and I'm pretty sure everyone else, <laughs> for them to say in August, Anim, would you like a part-time job to help run the news department? I said yes, because I was unemployed at the time. It was COVID. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. All the job postings I had lined up were taken down, and the ones I've applied to didn't, didn't uh, come back to me. It was James that initiated the conversation. Want to catch up, Anim? I said yes. We talked, and then there was a job offer. Started part-time, and slowly my hours kept on increasing and increasing, and then by 2021, I was offered full-time, but not for news, to run the sports department. And uh, now we're here. Now I'm producing podcasts. Nice. So you've been doing sports for about a year? Yeah, one year exactly. Uh, I believe I was given the promotion August 17th, 2022, around oh, wow. that time frame. Yeah. And then the football game Arlington High School had against Hingham High School was my very first Arlington High School football game, which was my very first time not being a camera operator. I was... Do you remember what my position was? I think you were on that crew. No. I was, oh, you know, I was probably the engineer. Oh, Hingham? Yeah. Uh, the first football game we've done together. Yeah, I was probably audio. You, I think you were. I have the pictures to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, that was my first time engineering a broadcast setup. And then I went to a sports director role, which was really fun. It's like a, it's like a huge promotion to go nice. from camera operator to yeah. director. So. Most of my experience came from when I was in high school at Everett. I was part of the Everett High School Education Channel, so uh, that's why I was well prepared to be sports director. Nice. And the field production coordinator for ACMI. Cool. Um, so you've done a lot of sports now. You've done everything, probably. Over 100 productions consisting of live wow. stream and uh, recorded content. Yeah. So what's your favorite? You've done... Um, oh, <laughs> good question. Yeah, you've done... Football, you've done hockey, you've done uh, so my, soccer. So all my, of it. my favorite game to watch was Arlington High School boys soccer team versus Beverly. That has also the most views of something I've covered on YouTube. Hmm. My favorite production doing um, was probably the swim meet we did at Reading. Ah. It was ACMI's first remote multi cam live production for sports. We've done many remote productions outside of Arlington, but not at the capacity that we've done for that swim meet. We had a three camera shoot, I transported volunteers, and we set up a live stream from outside of Arlington. So that was, that was actually very exciting. And, and we, sh act <laughs> we accidentally shot the whole thing in 4K, so it looks <laughs> really uh, good. Yeah, I remember I, uh, that. The live stream, it was so good, I had to change up the live stream to shoot at a lower resolution. But because the quality was so good, I, I uploaded it. I uploaded the HD version at a later time. So that was my favorite production. There was also 
the boys hockey game during the playoffs, the playoff games for the boys hockey team were my favorite productions visually and the setting up. Very simple setup since it was two cameras, but I made it look like it was five. <laughs> you would think it was a five camera shoot, but it was, most of it was two or three at most. And we, I also got to travel with the girls hockey team into TD Garden. Yeah. That was quite an experience and a lot of stories in itself as well. I've heard it was, yeah. So uh, they're all tied for my first favorite, for number one of my favorite memories in productions. Cool. Yeah. So you have, you run interns too. You have. I, I run interns, so that's you correct. Used, you used to. You probably don't have any interns right now. I don't have any sports interns, but I do help with the internship orientation for all interns. Mm. And then occasionally I'll help manage the news interns. And when Katie's not around, I I fill in for her position. Wow, for you the do everything. Interns. Yeah, no, I have a really great experience with interns because when I was an intern, since I was the first one to start, um, I was kind of thrown into a little bit of a leadership role at that time. It was like, hey, Anim, can you teach the interns what I taught you? And then I taught them and then uh, created a whole new system and formula that really worked for ACMI that it would get behind. Nice. So, yeah, becoming an intern, really easy. Yeah. Uh, ACMI.tv, go to their contact page, go to James Milan, email him, email ACMI. Walk right in, ask for an internship. Or just, yep, go in. <laughs> and, like uh, you did, Mazin. That's why I didn't go in, but I, oh. I, I asked someone and they said yes. So, yeah. yeah. Um, very welcoming uh, commu community and environment. Very welcoming. If you're in Arlington, we're here for you. It's literally our community media. We can't be ACMI without the community. So, yeah. Otherwise, we'll just be Arlington Cable, and that's going to be lame and boring. But no, we're Arlington Community Media. Um, hmm. Awkward silence. Maz, you got yeah. any, uh, any new questions for me? I it, mean, you've been, <laughs> been asking weird. me all the questions. That's, that's true. Uh, it's weird switching roles. Yeah. Uh, at first, I was the host, and you were the interview subject, and now you're the host, and I'm the interview subject. Yeah. Um, I'd say that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, nobody. Not, yeah. You know what? If you're listening to this and watching to this, you don't have to know anything more about me. <laughs> yep. So the staff can stay anonymous and yep. if don't know their not personal lives. And just apparently, I'm not interesting stuff. enough to pique Mazin's curiosity <laughs> to ask more questions. So uh, this is it. This yeah. is all I have. My background, my history, but. No, um, I hope to see people at 85 Park Avenue or be volunteering in one of our productions, whether it's high school concerts, town concerts, high school sporting events, club soccer, club events, anything around Arlington. We could be there as long as you're there. And to do sports, if you want to help out with sports, sports at ACMI.tv. Yep, that's uh, my secondary email. Say, <laughs> I want my them. secondary email. That's true. Uh, that's another thing about sports volunteers is literally, can I volunteer? And I say yes, and I just throw you into a random position. I teach you literally two hours before a production. And to the viewers at home, sometimes you can't tell, sometimes you can. But you get to see how fun and quickly people get to learn. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, thanks for joining me. Oh, hey, thanks for you, having me, Mazin. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, see you next time. <laughs>